um later do you have any access or were you able to get the link for general info this one if not please send me your email address or so that i can give you the link or if you already had the email address if you already sent me your email address just um skype me personally and inform me that you haven't yet got the link for the general info Hello. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, are we speaking with Lady? Yes. Lady V? I see. Um, I was able to chat with Donald and um, I was able to provide my email address and he gave me the general info thingy and I was able to access it. So should I need to provide to you my email address also? No, um, I'm just asking for those who have yet your access. Oh, oh, okay. So if you already got your access, that's fine. That's good. Is that correct? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So for those who haven't yet their access in the general info and um training videos, just send me your email. I just yeah, just send me your email address in the staff so that I could work it on later. Or if you already um send your email address, um. And just send a message in the sky that you don't have yet the access. Operating your A message later on again. I'll be leaving your message in the start later on, but as of now, I will not be checking it except for those like if there is additional. Okay, so I'll be starting now. Okay, good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Lady V. I'll be your trainer for the day. So we're going to talk a lot of things. So first off is so this is an introductory training for airline reservation for cooler and light researcher. So first up is your qualification. You must have a good English comprehension skill, okay? Because you need to really understand and the um some info that was provided and able to work full time at home. So this is only um you can work only work at home. Not you you cannot work in office because for the computers. That you will be working on, you need to be only focused. Or you only need to have a um. You need that you will be working on only one unit that you will be working on. Because if you're like going to change to a lot of um computers, okay, mm -hmm. there is a tendency that once you log into different um computers, there is a tendency that your AMS account or the login info for the um, system will be blocked. So you may need to make sure that when you're going, when 
you will start working on for the um, AMS or our system you need to only work on one computer so to avoid your account being black so you need um, make sure you work it on just one computer the next is so if you have experience and not necessarily because we will be providing you the trainings and the tools and yeah since this is an um, home-based um, online job so you need to have a good real reliable broadband internet a laptop or a pc anything anything will do and a headset for live trainings or for live trainings and so you need also to work in less so if you can work in less supervision so especially we need to be patient open-minded and able to follow rules and also have a good time management so let's go to the company any question with the qualifications no question so let's Proceed to the about the company. So the company's name is First Class Discount Air. It is an online travel company founded in 2012 based in US. Okay. And we offer international flights in business class or first class cabin in customer worldwide. In the process for the company to sell their tickets is we are buying the tickets with the company's own frequent flyer points or award miles and sell it to the clients or the customer based on their requests or preferences, which is much greater um, in a greater discount. So if you are not familiar with um, frequent flyer points or award miles, um, a sample of that is if Cebu Pacific. Are you familiar with Cebu Pacific? I think all of us here are from Philippines. Yes. Okay. Yes. Get yes. go. Get yeah, go points. Yeah. Get go points. Yes. So it's the same with that one. Um. The the only thing is it is on the reverse. So the um the company is buying the ticket using the points and selling it to the clients using cash. Okay. Um. I have a question, lady, about the. Um, to buying of the ticket since you will be using the frequent my um, flyer points so basically the, the there's gonna be some airlines specifically Delta Airlines they're actually offering like um, miles plus cash so are you also offering that to to the website itself or it's just only for for the miles itself that you'll be buying the ticket for and the then miles, sell it for the miles it's yeah full miles full miles right yes. I see. Okay, noted. Okay. So next, um, so let's go to the company's website. Okay, so this is the company's main website where the client will be um, providing their information and um, request flight, information and request flight, and also for their, if they have a specific um, specific or preferences about their flights so they need to provide it here and we have sample sample pricing so these are not really a cash I it, it is not, um, these are just sample pricing but um, that they don't have any itinerary yet or any flight um, flight description so they're just sample prices that we have to um, find. Okay. The one that is shown in the website, since there's no itinerary yet, um, that is just a base fare? Yes. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, and then the, these are the selling price that we might offer. Or mm -hmm. So this, the red one here is the um, original prices that Okay. They, okay, and this one will be the quoted price or the selling price that they might get us uh, to uh, from us when we're going to offer it to them. So taxes and fees is not yet included in the price that is shown online for, um, for this. It is for this one. It is already included. 
included taxes yes. and fees. Okay, noted. Thank you. Okay. So, so this is the website for the company, and let's go with the uh, members or the staff of the company. Okay. So we have Donald. Donald is the CEO, and we have Mark Anderson as the IT IT head. And we also have Luxury Fight Consultant, or what we call them LFC. They are the salesperson. They're the one who is, um, will be doing the follow-ups to the clients or all, and also contacting the clients. Okay. And we have some, let me just unmute your mic so that, better and we have and um, from this list we have six i said that including donald because donald is also working as aside from being a ceo he's also working as a um lfc and we just got a new lfc her name is maui okay and she is also a, one of the trainer she just currently got her account for LFC or she just got upgraded to being on LFC. And we also have a lot on the list of flight researchers and marketing market um, marketing team, the telemarketers. Yeah. So since you applied to Donald, you could work not you cannot work to all of the LFC. So you can only work for Donald, um, Emma, Perry, Margarito, and Maui or MAPE. Uh, you will not be assigned with whom you could, whom you will work on. We will be tackling that later on, more later on. Once we go with the tools, I'll be showing you whom you could work on and also how you, um, what is the features of the tools of our I system. So as an advanced, so as an advanced knowledge, you will be working, you could only work on requests from Donald, Emma, Margarito, and Perry, and also the new um, LFC, which is mapping. Next is... So any question with the um, job or I mean the members of the team okay so next up is the job description so as a flight researcher so what is your what is your job responsibility so all you need to do is search for any possible business class or first class award flights available to our sec selected flight award website prepare and send airfare codes to the client based from the request and preferences doing a follow-up or calling the clients is not part of the of our job so you don't need to worry about that that is the LSS job then making sure that each code you send is a good quality codes and so every codes that you every good quality codes that you send you will be paid a dollar for each. So our model here is, as a flight researcher, the model is more on quality than in quantity. Okay. So any question with the job? So once so once you are like you're already familiar with um as being a flight researcher let's say um you're already working three months four months or five months as a flight researcher if you want to apply for a higher position let's say a telemarketer or a um lfc you could apply for a higher position um, lady, just to uh, clarify regarding those positions, telemarketing is the one who actually call the um, potential clients if ever they want to ask for any codes or whatnot, and they, they, they'll be asking if the 
customer was able to receive the email either in spam or inbox. So that's what the telemarketers will be doing. Well, for the LFC, um, what they will be doing in their end is to um, call the customers and to end the um, transaction. Like, am I on the right track here? Um, um, the LLC is mostly all of most. The LLC's work is yeah, it's the same. Um, okay. It, yeah. Um, you you have a point there, and for LLC is they can do the or their job is almost all. Or they, they are also a flight researcher, they are a telemarketer. So it is a combined job. And also, they do the ticketing part. Yes. So, yeah, so they're the one who is um, doing the um, ticketing for the client. If the client wants to buy the... Or they are the final, uh, final step for the um, selling price. Or selling the... Positions. So, if ever you'll be applying for that position, of course, you will be needing, like, um, let's say, higher um, qualifications for that certain position, right? Just for example, the tools that they'll be using, um, let's say, like, Amadeus, Apollo, um, Sabre, that is a required, let's say, or, or <laughs> I don't know if um, that is, you know, part um, of... It is... They will be using the same system. Okay. Okay. And the all of the system, all of the system that is, or all of the um system um apps or things that needed by the um um applicants or I mean the agents is in the system. So. You're just working with the system, the airlines, and also the other tools that we'll be using. And okay. you also need to, once you're going to apply for a higher position, you need to also attend trainings. So there will be another training, set of trainings for an LLC. For that one, okay. Yes, and okay. that one needs like a 60, 60, 60 attendees for the live training, LFC live training, and watching also the videos for the live training for okay. LFC. But you Much can appreciate. but you can apply yes. that um you can apply to being on LFC once you are familiar. Let's say you're working for three months or four months and you are coach uh, you are sending a a good quality coach. So you could apply for a higher position. Okay. Thank you, lady. So next is the payout. Okay, so we'll be discussing about the pay. So again, you will be paid for a dollar for each good quality. So codes you will be sending. It doesn't matter if the client will buy it or not. And so the pay, um, the payment will be either a money, um, cash remittance or bank deposit. So the company will be using a money transfer party. We have the remitly and placid. So for this is, if you want cash remittance, we can have it using Subwana Louis here, and Louis here, LBC, SMO, BDO cash remittance our globe so for bank deposit if you want a bank if you want bank deposit um that is either video bpi globe or you have gcash and metro bank so um payroll cutoff is every friday and you will receive your pay 14 days after the cutoff so that is also that includes the um, days for the process transfer process so let's say so, um, not this one, the calendar. so that's gonna be bi-weekly like you're gonna okay. be receiving your pay twice a month yes correct so okay. let's say um our last pay um our last cutoff is 25 so that is 12 to 25 okay and we'll be receiving our pay this Friday. Yeah. 
So the next cutoff is on Friday, this Friday. So we are expecting to leave our, uh, receive our pay on 22nd. So that is how we process for the payout. So every two week period, and on the fourth week or on the another two weeks for your payout. So next, do you have any question with the payment? Again, it's either a cash, no. re cash remittance or bank deposit. Bank, okay. So how we're going to start, how to start being in LFS, um, I mean a flight researcher is all you need to do. Um, all the trainings and tools will be provided to you for free. Okay. You, I, you can add me or Maui, let me just change this. Because she got um, she got her new in um. Hello, can you not hear me? Oh, we can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, because Chad um Chad here said that he can hear me. Let me just um send him a message. There are some issues like if they're using their mobile phones and I need to unmute I, I need to mute the mic so also the audio is will be muted. Okay. So um I need to change this one. I forgot to change the one. But but for Maui, um she got her new Skype ID, which is the official Skype ID for the her her official Skype ID as an LFC. So I'll be, you can I'll be providing that to you later. If you want to add her, and yeah, watch and understand all the training videos in any order. You can watch it in any order. Attend at least ten live training in Zoom. So we'll be posting. Okay, so this is the challenge of honesty. So we'll not be tracking any of your attendees for the live training, but this is an honest, honest to goodness thing. Okay, so you are you trying to say that we'll be the one who will claim if we've completed a 10 live session training? Yes. Okay. So, um, Lydia, what if in the event that we're, we were able to complete the, the video training and do we need to really complete the 10 um, live training sessions still so that we, we will be official or you will be officially hired in your company? Yes, you need, especially, um, it is much better to have the live training because Okay. Some part in that, um, not in the training in the video. videos, yeah, in the training yes. videos, those are old training videos, and some part, some presses or some part of the videos are not in updated. Our, updated, okay, and they are uh -huh. not, um, I mean, they we're not doing them anymore, okay, or we're not using some of the, um, some of the like websites, or there are some changes. So it is much better to attend the live training because this one is more updated than the training video. And having attending the um, attending the live training, it is uh, attending the live training is you could um, get some tips or notes or um, you can understand more clearly the 
uh, the process. Okay, so it is much better to have a, to attend a live training. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Let me just ask Chad here. Okay, that's fine. Much better. So the time will be random. So we don't have a. So we don't have like a specific time for the training. So we'll just announcing it to the in the um training group, fat training group, and but there are like um standard time where I or most of the time we have a real following. So for me is usually I have my live training um, in the morning, nine or 10 until 12 to one. Then in the evening is usually I have at nine, nine or 10 also, at nine or 12 p.m. So 12 to one p.m. Um, a.m. Then for Maui is she usually has have her training, live training, in in the afternoon, three to five, three p.m. Then early morning, which is three a.m. But I'm not sure if there is some changes since she's already an LFC. She just got um upgraded or she's got she's just become um yeah advanced to being an LFC. So she might not be able to follow that schedule and we also have Annalisa I haven't yet um as if because and for Annalisa usually her time is 1 p.m. in the afternoon yeah 1 p.m. in the afternoon so but I haven't got any update update yet of what is the real uh, what time they will really be having for the live training, so you just need to um, wait for announcement in the training group. And for the training period, usually two to three hours or longer, it depends on the trainer or depends on the flow of the um, training. So we have, um, you need to read and understand the coding rules and guidelines in the journal info sheet. So it is the very first step here. So these are some rules that we need to um, apply. And so also you need to get your own frequent flyer accounts to our selected flight award website. We'll be tackling that later on what are the websites that we're using and how you could get your um, frequent flyer award or frequent flyer program or membership so you could also get the links not this one you could also get the links for those airline here under tools and airline links so we have the list of airline here And then next is, so for, you might be trying to access the FC agent.friscasdiscountair.com, but as of now, since you are still in training and you don't have any account, you, and though it is using a Google account, but for now is you cannot access it using any account because we will be providing you the account the company will provide you the account for you to access the um, AMS or our system. Okay, so once you're done with the training and the um, watching all the videos, you just need to inform me or any other trainer and we'll be providing you the link for the staff enrollment applica applicants 
And after you submitted that one, you need to wait for five days for your account to create, to be created. And if, if you haven't received your login info, after five days, you need to do a follow-up to either Donald or Terry. So any question with how you're going to start with the work? Okay, um, I, I do have some clarification with regard with regard to the email that we're actually processing, because um, the one that we'll be uh, sending to the customers or to the uh, to the clients is something like a code for for the flight that they do, that they want. Are there any cases like, for example, um, we do receive an email, but it's not actually. Um, it's not actually talking about codes, but it's somewhat like, you know, um, out of the blue emails. Are we also um, trying to entertain that one or just disregard such um, email? That will be the part for the LFC. So I'll be, you, we will see more later. Oh, okay. Will, okay. So next, so since our next topic is tools, so we'll go first with the FCDA agent management system or the AMS. So this is our AMS. So the link is agent that the air that com. But as of now, you cannot um use this one or you cannot log in on here since you don't have yet your account. Yeah. So logging here is you need the FCDA.co account. So this is how the our website or our um, system looks like. So for the contacts is these are for LFC. Also, this one is for LFC. So we don't have any you, as a flight researcher, we don't have any access on this one. But um, we could access the codes needed. This order is also for LFC. Our marketing is LFC and telemarketers. We do have access for these tools, some of the tools here. We do have access as a flight researcher. Then reports, you could work on the codes activity. You could check on the codes activity, but some are only for the LFC. Then your profile and also from admin. So usually, as a flight researcher, you will be going. Uh, you will be needing. You will be needing two tabs. So one tab for the award calculator. And then another tab for codes need. Yeah, sorry, codes needed. Should, so for the award calculator, this is where you're going to put the required miles and the taxes, and also if there are fees, so that you could compute. Uh, this one is will be the uh, will, where we're going to compute for our selling price. Then this is where we're going to check for. Um requested codes so again we could only work for Donald, Emma, Mate, Margarito and Terry so all you can see here is um, requested codes so there are no other code I have no no messages no spam mails so you will just be looking on requested codes I re yeah, requested requested codes. So let's open one so that you could see how it looks like. Yeah. So here is the staff folder or if you're already a colleague once you um, receive your account, you will see your staff folder name here. Usually, that will be your first name and an initial of your last name. Then, the status of the code that you're doing. 
So if you are researching, you need to change it to researching. Then also the sequence number here is, um, it is the number of when are the number you created the codes. Okay. Then we have the name and the name here is what mouse you are using. Okay. So we have the request info. So either you can check. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I'm a bit confused about the uh, sequence number. Is it also the number of email that you've actually processed? No. It or... is. Let's go back to the. Okay. So here there are eleven. Um, eleven codes, meaning um, eleven, eleven quotation was created, and okay. 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 So for this, the number one sequence here is meaning um, Madge here is the first one who created the quotation. Okay. Another quotation was created. The second quotation was created again by Madge. Third, mm -hmm. third quotation is created by Jason. And fourth was created by Jason. Yeah. So it's like the sequence of of who created a quotation Attempt. or who, who clicked the new link here or the new button here or the new action here. So once I'm going to create this one, so my sequence is eleven. I is twelve since there is someone who um there is eleven who attempts i see so you need to be mindful you need to be keen with regard to the number of sequence shown in that um specific email that has been created not necessarily it's just like um numbering so one two three um would it it numbering. wouldn't affect the the quality of the email because that's the basis for us to get paid, right? So we should we should need to be more careful with regard to the sequence number, or that would be totally fine. And that will be totally fine. Um, it's just for like numbering of how many codes, or it's just like a random i a number. So first, second, third. It's just an arrangement number of of who um created. Okay. Again. So it's not really a problem. Okay, going back. So you, excuse me. So you mean it means that the number here is the number of people who attempt to yes. try to quote it. Okay, I see. Okay. So in here, when Crystal created this quotation, so we call I call this one quotation. So when Crystal created this quotation, he is the sixth person who um created I click the new action okay. so the the request number here and we have the call um code ID here so this is the code ID so this is the num um the so this is the code, your quotation ID and this is the request number ID okay. So either, this is the request info, so either you can see it here, you will see it here, or either in the request notes. So we, if there is a request note, you always need to make sure to read the request note, because not all of the info, or there is a tendency that the info provide, provided here, or the itinerary provided here, is not correct. So you always need to um, read and understand the general either request note. Also in request, but also in request note, there are times that the clients have the prefer preferences. So you need to consider the preferences and also um, a a note from the LFC. If like let's say um the clients only need a non-stop flight, so you need to only provide a non-stop flight. We'll be discussing later the those things during the advanced training. So as of now, it's just a quick show to you. Or um, excuse me, the the, the name 
shown on the upper left corner besides the uh, request number that's the name of the passenger or the um, customer um, Sam? Um, for the name there is we're usually putting the no this um, one? it's ash no on the upper this one? part yes that one this is I the see. name provided by the client so okay. that might be not his his or her real name it's just like a code name because some some clients just like put JJ or okay so there's mostly like initials yes initials but some to provide or most most of them provide their real name but if, so for but some also provide like just initials or code names or just random names but they're not their real names since we're just provide um, since we're going to send them any codes or codes based from the request so if you cannot see um the you can also track the request info old by this one because here is you cannot see it here the um info provided let me just open another one okay but you could see it here in the um request info so this the one so we can see that it's sydney and F sydney to fco so let's talk more for first for this one so we have the requested date the name for the name of the client or the requester and then if there is a note so we can also see the note then the ap1 here is the departure place and the arrival area or the destination and then we have the date out and the date return so again for this is it might not be the correct info or not so usually we need to um create a new quotation so that we could check the info more um in details so um for the um, i have a question okay uh can, can you please go back to the um to the uh, previous that one uh for the arrive i mean for the um outbound and the arrival it's actually on, on the num let's try to take a look at the first column or yeah that's coming uh, that's from sydney to fomachino rome italy that's basically a one-way flight um that's why i i tell um this one is a return flight if you can see that there is a date out and date oh. return so if okay. the, if it is a one way flight, I one way flight. So there is no date return. But I said I said a while ago that you need to if you want to really to make sure that um what is the full flight details, you need to create create a new quotation or either if uh, you can create a new quotation or either check on like for those old. A created quotation. Okay, got okay. it. Because there is not, there might be, um, there might be a possibility that, um, there is no return date here. There is no return date here. But when you check on the notes or the full, full details, the flight is a, is a return flight or an open job flight. Or a multi multi series flight, so you always need to check the full information under the request info, either new or old. Okay, so if it's an open jaw or let's say a multi city um, flight, it would be the same like the one that we saw. So that's why we really have to check if it's you know um if it's an open jaw flight or let's say um, if it's a multi city flight, something yes. like that. We, okay. Because some a sample of this is this one. So there is no a um destination or origin of the flight here. There is also no date, but there the information is provided in the um notes. This one oh, is yeah, uh, from Los Angeles to Cebu. Yeah. So we have also this one. There is no return date 
there is no return date, but if you're going to read, this one is an open job guide. Okay. Also, this one, there is there is a date on the date out, but no information for the origin of the flight or the destination, but we can see it in the request notes. Okay. So for the email app, email tracking activity, you don't need to mark, um doesn't need much markers here. Okay. So for this is you can check it or uncheck this one. But as of now, currently we're not um having this or we're not working on the request checklist because we could see from the name itself is what mouse is we um other coders are working on okay. then we have the financial info here so in the financial info you'll be facing um you'll need to import the um import the information or the details you got or you computed in the award calculator you need to import it here in the general info and all you need to do or all you need to add it here because once you import the once you import the information from general info i i mean from award calculator to the financial info here all the fields will be will automatically fill out or fill up and all you need to do is give the retail price and get the local currency. And then for the itinerary, so you're going to get this right here on one of the tools we're using, which is the matrix. So you just you'll need to be facing it, you need to face it here, but we call it the petty flights. And once you're done with the financial info and itinerary, you have checked it. No, nothing. Um, nothing. Um, I mean, once you check it and the info is complete, you need to check um first the code history. If like someone is working on the same um same miles or the um partner mouse so that you could avoid um double um avoid sending duplication okay then once you're done tracking or rechecking all you need to do is go to go to send and don't need to do anything here and just click preview and send so as of now i cannot do any i cannot show you that since uh this one is just an introductory We'll be working more on that in for the in advanced advanced training. Um, lady, I have a question with regard to the um, awards calculator. Since we will be doing that one, or yes, that one, um, are we going to do it manually? Like we will be searching in the first class website, or that's AMS, right? So we will be searching the the, the miles that's, that will be needed, and also the tax that will be um, that will be applied for that uh, specific flight. So we will be doing, or we will be putting that one manually in the awards calculator. Correct? Yes. Okay, and then it will auto populate on the other, on the other. What's what's what do you call that one? On uh, th there is a retail price thingy. Yes. We and will. how do we compute the retail price and also the the other price something on below on it? Let Let's try to do it later, but let's proceed. So the let's proceed to the since again since this is only an introductory, so I'm just showing you the tools. So we'll not I'm not going to discuss how to. That will be more on the um, advanced training, but for this, this is on introductory. I'm just I'm showing you the tools and uh, some basic knowledge or info that you might be encountering during the advanced. Yeah. 
So if you have notes, okay, you can just put it here, no problem. Email history, so let me show you a sample code. So for those who are not familiar how the, how a code looks like. So this is how a code looks like. Okay. So we have the itinerary, the, the coded price or the selling price, and also some the um, generated information, generated paragraph. Okay. So usually in the quotation, you're always, always are you're working more on the financial info, um, itinerary info, code send and code history, and also request info. So that is for the EMS tool, and also for let's say um, if you want to get information or get the Skype, uh, Skype contact for your LFC, you just need to check on the LFC list and also for other staff, other flight researcher or other staff, you just need to check their con Skype contact in sub staff directory. And then the, if you want to check how many codes were you able to send on the period, Okay, or end up during the cutoff, so you can search it here because um every cutoff or okay. let me just accept this. Okay, let me just show you, I hope I could say. Okay, so every, a week after the cutoff, a week after the cutoff, um, Donald will be posting the total, it's this one, the total codes that was sent during um, the total codes that was sent during those period, part of period, and also the individual code that was sent by the coder or the flight researcher. Okay, so let's say here I have 38 items that was sent. So if I want to make sure that I really got the 38, 38 items, I can check it here. So it's from 12 to 25. So I did send per day. Okay, or I can also check if how many codes did I send on the on on a on a week or yesterday, let's say. So that is how we could check the codes that was sent that you have sent. So next is the matrix. Okay. So this is the matrix. So this is how the matrix will fly. So um, either you can check it around click one way or multi city depending on the request. Then we always search um, in business class or higher since we're only offering we're only offering a business class and first cut flight, and we always make sure that we got. US dollar currency prices because if you're not going to put US, um, US dollar currency here you will be provided with the local currency based from your departing area or depart departing city.
So you need to always put US dollar on the currency. This is easy to use. It's just like um the same with um booking. You need, you'll just need to put your the cities, the required cities, the dates, and the the um, number of passengers. So we always go with adults. Two year old and two year old and above, or children two year old above, we consider them adults. So we'll pricing them as an adult. We could only give a discount for below two year old. So this is the matrix tool. So here is where we're going, getting the credit flights. So let me show you the... Again, we always have it. US dollar currency and this is plus or higher. So you always have to get the US dollar prices and this is the credit flights. So let's say this one, um this is how we're getting the um Info, the itinerary info were placed in, in the AMS. So next is the converter. Then some of the website will give you the local currency or they, they do have set currency. Okay, so that um you will need to convert them to US dollar. Always convert them to US dollar. So we are using XE currency converter as our main converter, money converter, so that we could get a same result with, so that the LFC will get the same result once they check it. The next stop is... Sit Guru. Okay, so this is Sit Guru. So for Sit Guru is we're just using it to check on sitting details. Okay. So if it's because some some again some clients have preferences, yeah, especially for long long um, long flights or long leg flights, they prefer to have a fully flat bed. So, or some some clients like um, they want to have all the flights. They want to have a fully flat bed. So, when we're checking the airlines, we need to check if we will get a fully flat bed. Okay. Then we have airline websites. So we have the airline websites here. I'll be talking the um talking about that later on, one by one. And then we have the Sky Trucks airline quality. So some again for preferences, some clients will give a note that they want to ride a five star airline. So to check what are the five star airline, we need. Is I will um basing it here in the sky tracks on what are the five star uh, five star airlines. So once we offer the customer the airlines, we are they are a five star airline. Next is the KVS tool. Um, so this is the KVS KVS tool. So you can download this. And for the, we will provide you the registration code and the machine code for this one. You can watch the KVS tools um, 
training video in how to install and register the KBS tool. Then we have the general info sheet. So again, the general info sheet where you can see the coding rules and guidelines, the taxes and the fees, because there are some airlines that we, they won't provide us the tax or the fee. So we have set taxes or fees. Like Qantas, Qantas, um, since you cannot go or proceed for Qantas, they will only provide you um, the required miles, but you cannot see the taxes and fees. Though if you want to continue, you need to have a you need to have the miles required miles so that you could see the taxes. But since um, you just want to uh, since um you just registered uh, you just register or sign up for a Qantas student flyer miles for um to check for a wide availability class and you don't have any points. We have already set, set tax and fees for that. Also, we have paragraphs or statements that we need to add in the quotations depending on the depending on who are we working on and also some notes like for if there is an infant included and other notes here, you can see it here. For KBS account. So if you're installing the KBS, you can find the registration code and the system code in here. And then the, uh, the links for all the tools that I show you and also the airline. So then this one, the letter um, AMS letter code, we will be using this in the codes we send, this is for a note, a note for the um a note for the LFC. So this is not for the client, but this is for the LFC. Then we have um miles, what miles to use. So we have the alliances. We'll be tackling that later on. And other information that you might find worth to read on or might be helpful for you for your future coding classes. Okay. Then we'll go with the airlines and the miles. So we have 12 airlines that we are currently select um, currently working on or checking for our flight availability. So we have Air Canada, which is AC or Aeroplan is their award or frequent flyer program. Air France flying um their frequent flyer program is flying blue. We have the British Air and they have the executive club avios. The Cathay Pacific, which is Asia Miles, Delta, um, they have Sky Miles, Emirates, um, Sky Awards, Korean Air, Sky Pass, Contest, Group and Flyer Miles, Singapore Airlines, Chris Flyer, Virgin Atlantic, Flying Group, United, Mileage Plus, Anna or All Nippon Airways, we have the Mileage Club. You might be, some of you might be asking what is ACAF, BACX, BL, EK, KE? Airline codes. Yeah, I, I know some of you know it, but for this, uh, for those who doesn't know, okay, so S Q V S U A N H. so these are airline codes, okay? So usually, um, since instead of have, um, instead of saying, Air Canada always were using the airline codes. Okay. So you need to be familiarized with the airline codes. If you can see here in the if you can see here not nickel surplus. Um
So if you could see here, we are using airline codes. So it means that um, someone is researching on AF or Air France. So meaning for other coders, they don't need to um, research on AF since someone is already researching on AF. Then for this is Victi, coders Victi already did a research or check the KE, which is Korean Air. So for the other coders, um, it means they would understand that there is no inventory in Korean Air. So next, um, so I will go with the airlines. So first is for the Aeroplan. So Aeroplan is the frequent flyer program of um, Air Canada. So we'll just go directly with the website of for Aeroplan. So if for those who doesn't are who's not familiar with the airlines or the process, so all you need to do is to sign up. For for you to sign up is click on become a member. So that you can sign up to the Aeroplan, Aeroplan program. And then we have Air France. Oh, yeah. I already prepared them, but they need to refresh. So we have Air France, and for you to create the flying blue program is making sure that when you sign up to fly on to air france you sign up on this flying blue because if you're going to sign up on this one you will be just getting the reg on um, regular account but not the flying um the flying blue program or their eight um frequent flyer program which is flying blue So why do you need to sign up? Because most of the uh, most of the website they really need and uh, they will ask you to for your logins to provide. Um, they will ask you for your logins if you want to search their frequent flyer. Um, I avoid flights. Okay. So you need to sign up to your frequent flyer program for you to get um award flights availability. Then we have British Air. So all you need to do is register now. Or you can go to excuse me. So all you need to do is register now, click register now and making sure that once you register you need to join the executive club or you can go to executive club register now but for you who click on this make sure that you have the or make sure that you click the join the executive club okay. And then we have Asia Miles. Asia Miles is the frequent flyer program for um, Cafe Pacific. So the links in the general info is already directed to Asia Miles. So you don't need to go to Cafe Pacific. So all you need to do once you um, arrive on the Asia Mile website, you just need to click join now for you to um, register to their frequent flyer program. As for Delta, um, you may or may not sign up for their frequent flyer program. Again, you may or may not sign up to their frequent flyer program since in Delta you could um, research or you could search the 
award availability flights without logging in or without signing in. All you need to do is make sure that when you're searching, make sure that you are searching using miles. Because if you are searching using money, you will receive cash flights as a result. But when you're searching miles, you will receive a award flights as a result. So next is the Emirates. So for Emirates, you just need to click this join now. There is more join now here to um get your Sky Award membership number. And when searching, so when searching for um Emirates, this 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 might be I'll just tackling this one. Because this might be a bit confusing. So while well, this one, we're waiting for this one. Let me have others, other websites. So for Korean Air, um, we can use Korean Air if the passenger required is only for one person. Because there is a special um special feature in Korean Air where you cannot um look for a lot of a lot of passenger for the um requested flight. Let's say if um if you're going to book a flight, this is the cash flight. You could see here that you can. Um, specify how many passengers will be boarding. But if you are searching for a reward flights or award flights or redeeming a miles, you can see that you will be only um, looking on your name on your name on the passenger list. So you cannot add any you cannot add another person. It like there is where you need to search for two person, you cannot add another person. So again, if you are for Korean Air, we're only using this if we are searching, or we can only use this if we are searching for just one passenger. So back to Emirates is when you are booking or looking for the reward flights. A white flights for Emirates is make sure you book on the classic classic rewards. Okay. So you need to book on classic rewards. 
Because if you're going to book this on using this one, though it has set here the cash plus miles, okay, but you will be provided more with the cash than miles. So you need to um, look for book classic rewards to get a more um to get result with more miles than than attacks. And also in Emirates, not all of their routes do have reward flights. So if you're going to search this in here, you might be able to um, get a result. But when you check it for book classic reward, the route might not uh, they might not um, they might not be offering any classic flights or classic reward or award flights for that certain route. So next is for Kansas. So if you're um, signing up for Kansas, you need to go to Frequent Flyer and join Kansas Frequent Flyer. So all you need to do again, Frequent Flyer and join Kansas Frequent Flyer. Same with Emirates. Let me just log in and show it to you. I got a list. I got a list of my membership number. So and then every time you're um, signing up for the frequent flyer program, you need to uh, you will be receiving a membership number. So if you didn't receive any membership number, or you weren't able to take note on the on your membership number, you can check on the your on your email. You will you can check on your email. The will also send you your membership number, but if you didn't really receive any membership number or um, check your email and you don't see any membership number for that certain airline, it means that you only sign up using the regular, um, regular account, not the frequent flyer program. So if searching in contest, Make sure that you click or check this search classic flight. Because for contest, there are some cities that you cannot um, search if you don't click on the classic um, classic flight reward. Let's see here. So, and then check this one and check it. So if it's trapped, you will see that there is a symbol here, meaning um, cities with these symbols only offers if it's in classic flight reward. Okay, like this one, Bari, Italy. You can see that there is a Bari, Italy here, but and also this one, the Bakersfield United. US. If we're going to uncheck this one, you cannot see the barley anymore. So for Singapore Air, all you need to do is click this um, first flyer to sign up. You need to click the first flyer to sign up for the um, first flyer program. And for checking our for checking the reward flights or award flights, make sure that you click on redeem flights. So I'll be checking back on the on Virgin Atlantic.
So for United, um, the same with Delta, you don't need, you don't really need to sign up for an account or for their mileage flights in United because you can get a result for their award flights, making sure that you click on search for award travels. Because if you won't be checking on this one, you will be only getting their cash flights, but not the reward flights. And for Anna, is you just need to click on join Anna Mileage. And for booking, is you need to go with award booking. So for Anna, is you cannot search in one way. You cannot use this one if you are um, if the request is only for one way, because for their award reservation, they only have a round trip, an open job trip, and a multi city trip. So again, the links for this website, airline website, is in the general info. You can check the general info to get the um, link for the airline website. So our next topic is the airline alliances. So we have three major airline alliances. We have the Star Alliance, the Sky Team, and the One World. Okay. So for... Excuse me for a bit, I need to have a party break. Hello. Okay. I'm back. So for the Star Alliance, we have 27 airlines that is part of Star Alliance. We have Adria, Adrian, Air Canada, Air China, Air India, Air New Zealand, Anna, Ashena Airlines, Austrian, Avianca, Brazil, Brazil's Airlines, Copa Airlines, Protea Airlines, um, Egypt Air, Ethiopian. Ethiopian Path, Ethiopian Eva Air, Lot Polish Airlines, Lufthansa, Scandinavian Airlines, Chevron Airlines, Singapore Airlines, South African Airlines, Swiss, South Portugal, Thai, Turkish, and United. And for the One World, we have Air Berlin, American Airlines, British Airways, Pacific, Finnair, Iberia, 
Japan Airlines or JAL, um, Lantam Qatar Airways, Malaysia Airlines, Qantas, Sri Lanka, Royal, Jord Royal Jordania, and S7 Airlines. And finally, we have the Sky Team. For Sky Team, we have the Aeroflat, Aerolineas Argentinas, Aero Mexico, Air, Air Europa Air France, Alitalia, China Airlines, China Eastern, China Southern, Z Airlines, Delta, Garuda Indonesia, Kenya Airways, KLM, Korean Air, Maya, Saudi, Tyrone, Vietnam Airlines, and Shaman. Why am I introducing to you these three major airlines? Again, we are only using 12 websites, but there is a lot of um, airlines for the flights. Okay. On this 12, um, on this 12 airline, um, list of airlines that we are using, we could get um, flights from other airlines using them. Um, in Star Alliance, we can check for um, Aeroplan, United, and ANA. Although Singapore Airlines is part of Aeroplan, they are not offering any award flights from other airlines. They are only offering fly award flights from their own airlines and Silk Air. So for us to get, to get or check for any award availability flights, for let's say Lufthansa or Swish or Turkish or Thai, we could check them in Aeroplan or AC, UA or um, ANA. Okay. As for One World, is we could check for any flights availability for the other airlines in Asia Miles. Qantas, and British Air. And for Sky Team, is we have Delta, Air France, um, Air France, and Korean Air. Korean Air. Okay. We also have um, going back to our general info, we also have partner airlines and parent and sister or uh, parent and child airlines. So, um, so other airlines do offer, um, other airlines do offer flights, which is not part of any of the alliances, any of the alliances. Let's say, example, Singapore Air. So though it's not offering any any airlines from Singapore Air, but it has a child airlines which is Silk Air. So it is offering um, award flights for Silk Air. We also have Qantas. Qantas is offering Jetstar, El Al, and Emirates. Okay, though we can also check Emirates website, but Qantas can also will be also offering Emirates flights. Delta is we have Virgin Atlantic and Jet Airways. Um, Cathay Pacific they have Dragonair. I haven't yet get the list of all of other um airlines they are offering and also other airlines. So this is not yet the full list, but you could check here in the general info on what airlines that we could or what airlines are part of the alliances. If you could see there are four airlines here that is a mark red. Okay. So for these four airlines, we are not offering any flights for um using their these airlines. Um the reason for that is most of the flights that we get from this um, uh, that we got from this is um, ghost flight. So for those who are for those who are not familiar, what are what is ghost flights means is if we check it to the website, it is available. 
Okay, so we can see the we can get a mouse and and a, a mouse and a tax for them, especially like um China Southern and China Eastern. Okay. We can see offers. We can see offers for award. What's that? We could see offer from the website um for award prize from the website. Let's say Delta. Okay, since this is Python and we could um search C Z or China is Southern in Delta. Okay. So we they might be offering a flight in Delta for um China Southern. But the but once the uh, once the process for ticketing, let's say the client did choose the offer with the China Southern flights. Okay. And when it is ready for ticketing, when they call or uh, when they um, want to book the ticket, the flight is really not there. Okay. Or, or there is no fla a certain flight that is exists. Is that is existing though there is an available, an available though there is an available flight that we can see in the website um chad if I'm going to mute your um, device, you cannot hear me. Because we're having an echo here. We're having, I'm getting an echo. Can you lower the volume na lang? So that there is no echo or feedback. Hello? So, I know. Hello? Any question with alliances? Also, the other reason why we need to know about the alliances is excuse me for a moment. Okay, so the other reason for um, knowing what airlines that are part of alliances is to avoid um, sending duplicate codes. Okay, because let's say, let's say I'm working on, or someone already sent 
a coach using AC. Okay. And I'm working on UA. So I need to check the codes that was sent by by the coder using AC. So because there is a possibility that there is a possibility that we might be offering the same flight. So I need we need to since AC and UA here are part of the same alliance. So I need to check or we need to check the codes that was sent using the same alliance. To avoid duplication. Okay. Next is we'll go with the flight types and details. So we have the trip type. We have round way, a uh, round trip one way, open jaw and multi city. So going back to our matrix. So this is a round trip flight. Okay. So we'll um for round. Wait, what's it on topic? What's it on? Let me just message chat, okay? And that be exit. So, um, Jesse, Jesse, I'm sorry, I cannot answer your question because this is for introductory. I'm doing an introductory training. I might able to answer you later on. But for now, I cannot answer it because we're going on a different um topic now. If we're, if I'm going to answer your question, okay, Jessa. So um, you just need to Skype me later. Okay, so for. Okay, so okay, so for a round trip is we need to you will be working on two cities or two area. Okay, so example this is from Sydney to Singapore, and you will be having an outbound date or a departure date and a return date. So this is a round trip. Ang lang mag-watch ka lang doon. Bakit? Anong alamin mo? Um, Chaz. Katok ka. Anong alamin mo? Okay, let's wait for Chad. Okay, can I continue now, Chad? Okay, I'll come going to continue. As for one way, the same um the only difference between a round way a uh, round trip and a one way is that for one way we will be only dealing with the departure date. So there is no return date. So it's some but you will be dealing for two cities. Um you will need a departure city and the destination city. Okay. 
Okay. The next is we have the multi city. I am in open job. So on open job, there are three types of open job. Let's go. So we have three types of open job. We have the destination open job, the origin open job, and the double open job. For the destination open job, we have for the passenger flies from one city to another but returns to the original city from a different place. So let's say this one. This is Singapore to Sydney. That is his first flight. And the next flight is from Bangkok to Sydney. Okay. So this is the destination open job. Then we have the origin open job is where the passenger lives from one city to another but returns to a different place. So going back here, so we have Sydney to Singapore, then from Singapore, instead of going back to Sydney, he will go back to Melbourne. So this is an open job. Um, and this is a, um, that's an origin open job. So for destination open job and origin open job, you will be um, working for, um, you will need three cities for um, destination open job or a origin open job. But we have for the double open job, which you will be, um, will you need a four cities? So let's say this one. So that will be um, Singapore, I Sydney to Bangkok, then Singapore to Melbourne. Okay. So this is on the, um, it that this does that this doesn't mean that there are two passengers which will be flying for a different destination, but this is um, the passenger might be flying to Sydney to Bangkok and his trip from Bangkok to Sydney will be another or he already has a plan for that. Let's say um, he will be having it in land transport or a train. It depends on the area. Then it will be, he will go back to a, a different city. So this is a double open job. And then for the multi city is um instead of having two flights, okay, there will be three or more flights. So let's say Melbourne to um Oakland. So then another flight, Oakland back to Sydney. So this is a sample of multi city that will be that will be three or more flights for multi city and um which in which will you will need a lot of cities or area. Okay. So next is type of flights. Okay, so we're going back on this. Okay. So type of flights, we have the non-stop, the direct flights, the one-stop flight, and the multiple stop flight. So a lot of clients, um, got confused between a non-stop flight and a direct flight because they think that a non-stop flight is the same with a direct flight, but they are different. So to make your to make clear, so this is a sample of a non-stop flight. If you can see there is no stop or no city here indicated. So the airline will not be stopping to any city. So that is a non-stop flight. And this is a sample of 
may have it a little bit bigger. So this is a sample of a direct flight. So for this flight, the airline is the same. You can see it, there is the same um, air flights number. So the airline that the clients will be boarding is the same and it will be stopping will just um it will need to have a stop in a certain city in this sample we have hong kong so for singapore to san francisco flight number two singapore airline number flight number two it will speed us uh, it will be stopping in hong kong but for the passenger he doesn't need to um, change the plane since he will be boarding the same plane. He might be requested to go off board and wait um, in the um, waiting area. Then once they are um, ready to, um, ready for the, um, ready for the trip Hong Kong to San Francisco, all they need to do is go um, on board again the same plane. So for the baggages, the um, passenger doesn't need to get his or her baggages. He can just let um, have it live in the airline, air, um, airplane. Okay. And then the next is we have the one-stop flight. So this is a sample of one-stop flight. So for this is, the clients need to change a plane. Okay. So um, the Singapore to Taipei, the first leg Singapore to Taipei, and once the client, or once the, uh, yeah, once the plane arrives in Taipei, the passenger needs to go off board the plane and ride another plane. Yes, Chad. Okay. Okay, so this is a one-stop flight. So we have two or more or So I'll be, I already rec I I did record the video. Okay, I record this training and I'll be uploading it in the YouTube. So if you want to rewatch this one, I'll be I'll be giving you the link later on once I uploaded this in the YouTube in the YouTube. Oh, okay, thank you, and thank you. <laughs> Okay. So for Chad's case is he, since he is using a device, a mobile phone, he cannot record this one. Oh. But for the next training, like on next live training, you will be attending on. If you want to record it yourself, you can just ask permission to the trainer so that he can allow you to record the session. Okay. So next is the again. So this is a this is a one stop flight. And we have the, let me just use this now. We have the two or more or the multiple stop. Okay. So we have Honolulu. So we have Honolulu to Cape Town. So 
So as a flight researcher, we need to offer the clients a good quality flight. And that also one of the criteria for having a good quality flight is the um, stopover of stopover for the um, flight or yeah, the whole flight. So as much as possible, if we could, um, if the flight is, or if the flight can have um, can have for a one stop flight, go with the one stop flight. Don't offer um two stop or three stop flight. So if it's a non stop, if the flight has a non stop flight and a one stop flight, um, you need to offer a one an either a non stop a direct flight or a one stop flight. But you cannot offer a two stop flight. But for, for this sample, is we have a two-stop flight and a three-stop flight. Okay. So you could offer a two-stop flight in these cases since we cannot offer any non-stop, any, any direct, or any one-stop flight. So we could offer a two-stop flight for this um, route, which is Honolulu to Cape Town. And there is also some exemption where we could um, offer a two-star flight if there is only a minimum. Okay. So for example, for this route, Sydney to Cape Town, um, only three airlines is offering for a one-stop flight, but if we cannot, um, we cannot find any one-stop flight coming from this airline, we could offer a two-stop flight. We could cons uh, we can consider offering a two-stop flight, but if there is a, if there's a lot of one-stop flight, we cannot have a two-stop flight. Let me have another. Uh, again, on this case, on this case, we can consider offering a two-stop flight since there are only three airlines that could um offer a one-stop flight. But as much as possible, if we could um find a one-stop flight for the clients, because well, most of the clients prefer having uh, just one stop. One stop flight. Okay, so in this sample, uh, Sydney to London, there is a lot of airline that is offering a um, one-stop flight. So for this, in this case, is look for a one-stop flight. As much as possible, do not offer a two-stop flight. You can offer a two-stop flight if the client is okay with uh, having a two-stop flight. But if it doesn't, um, if it does, he doesn't provide it or she doesn't, didn't provide that he is okay with a two-stop flight, don't offer a two-stop flight, o only offer a one-stop flight. Then... Okay. Then we have um, um, cabin classes. So we have first class, business class, premium, and economy. So again, for the company, we are only offering first class and business class flight. But there are some exemptions with this one if the LFC did provide information if we could offer a premium economy or an economy flight. Let's go back to... AMS and I think 
there is a sample for this with the exemption. Okay, so this one, this one has an exemption. It says here, some scroll prof needs a new recode for two facts this class also called premium economy. So meaning we could send a premium economy for this client since there is a note that we could send a premium economy. But if there is no premium economy that is stated by the LFC, we cannot send a premium economy. There are also some requests that the requested um, um, class is economy or premium economy but for them we will be providing or sending a business class flight because if there is no note from the if there is no note from the LFC that we could send a premium economy or economy even economy Based from this um, request of the client, we cannot send an economy or premium economy. So we'll be sending a business class flight for that. Again, we can only send premium economy or economic, economy codes if there is a note from the LFC. So this one, a sample of this one, this, this one is um, the LFC or Donald did approve that we could send a premium economy. Okay. So we have the sitting details. So we have for seat details, we have a fully um, open, closed suit, open or closed suit, especially for first class. First class flights um, with long layover, they are at either open or closed suit. Um, fully flat bed. A fully flat bed is 180 degree recline. Um, if it's like in, if it's like 170 degree recline, and they said that that is fully um flat bed, but that is only an angle flat bed, because a fully flat bed is an is a 180 degree recline. So if it's a hundred seventy eight. 170 degree recline, that is a angle flat bed. And we have recliner seat or standard seat. So this is um, for some business class flights that, is, uh, that are just in short duration, like an hour duration. So mostly their seat type is a recliner seat and a standard seat. Then I'll be since I haven't yet added here, but um criteria for coding. So for criteria for coding, we have the duration. Okay. So at least um as much as possible, we provide the least duration for the clients. Um, the stopover. So if like this one. As much as possible, provide a one stop since there is a lot of airline that is providing a one stop flight. What you're asking, Mark, is in the advance, but I'll be trying to tackle that later after this. Okay. Then another criteria is the layover. Okay, so the duration might be a bit um long. Let's check if like there is. Um, let's go with. Okay, so this one it might be a bit longer duration, but when you're checking to the layover is. This is just a short layover. Okay. So we consider a short layover if it's below four hours. Okay, if it's below four hours, that are short that is a short layover. And having a short layover is a good um flight. We consider that a good flight. 
Okay. Then the quality of the airline. So we also have the quality of the airline. And then we also need to consider the quality of the airline in coating because we need to compare the price of the airlines um, based from the quality. Okay, one of the criteria in setting up the price and um, deciding if it's any if we could code it or not or we can send it or not is the quality of the airlines the next again stop over duration layover and also the price so we always need to beat the matrix price so in coding the price we always um compare our coated price or our selling price to the matrix price here so prices matrix prices here we'll, we will um you will learn more on that during when you attended um other live trainings so for now um i'm not going to tackle that on uh, that those things um since we still have a time before i end this meeting um, I'll be answering the question of uh, Mark, okay, or my Greg, my Greg. So how we're going to decide what airlines are going to um, use or search, okay. So first is once you get the, once you get the cities, okay, or the details of the flight, let's say, the departure date and the arrival, uh, the departure ta uh, area and the arrival area. You can check matrix what airline is going to that um, route. Let's say here we have Sydney and Sydney to London, and you're not familiar what airlines is going to Sydney to um, Sydney to London. So we have a list of airlines here. So. If like if you decided to check Lufansa, Lufansa is what part of the alliances? It is a Star Alliance. So you could either check um, AC or UA or NH if it's a round trip. So if you um, want a um, if you want to check the um, if you want to try and get a Cathay Pacific flight. So you need to go to Asia Mouse or British Air or Qantas. If you want to um, check if there is an available Alitalia, since we're not using Alitalia Airlines, you can check Delta, um, Air France or Korean Air. But additional info is not all the flights don't expect that you will get award available for all the flights because award flights availability is only a limited slot has only a limited slot most of them are only nine slots so don't you sh don't expect that um every time you every time there is a request you would get a award flights so any question? No question? So if there is no question, I'll be ending this meeting to have and have your lunch break. Thank you for attending the live training and I'll be posting another training tomorrow. That will be an advanced training because for tonight's training, I'll be um, attending for the new coders. So that will not be for the um, new applicants, but that will be for the new coders or for those who just got their logins. Because I'll be reminding them the um, guiding, the coding rules and regulations and our coding rules and guidelines and about one of the files that they need to work on which is the um, work schedule so if you don't have any questions i'll be ending again let me just check the chat box 
I'll be ending the session. So I'll just post the link in the um, Skype group, Skype training group for you to once I'm done uploading this in YouTube. Um, excuse me, lady. Yes. Uh, is there any way, like the number of people who attended the uh, the meeting today, is there any way that you can um, also create a group, um, separate group in Skype where we can actually see the updates directly? Because um, the one that we've, we've actually added, there's a lot of you know um, trainees on it. So is there any possibility that you can no. add us to a separate group or no? No. Because all okay. that that is um that is the group for all the trainees, but I do have a group for new coders. But for new for new applicants, you will be directed to that group. Okay. So this. Because okay. we really don't want to you know to to meet to miss the chance to attend for the next training or the, the the one that you've actually mentioned because we might mislook the information if no, ever the about uh, the, about my training this evening i'll be posted i'll be posting that a link to my to the new coders group but not in the training group okay but right. for my tomorrow's um live training i'll be posting that in the training group okay so Got no it. problem with that. So again, have a lunch. Um, thank you again for attending and have a lunch, nice lunch break. ADV, uh, yes. Ask, for example, if you miss the chance to attend the second uh, training, um, you'll be uploading the YouTube thing, right? Because if we miss the second training, how will we be able to catch up? um that is um not um if you're going to watch the um uploaded video training that is not a live so that will not be counted as a live training in your um a live training because you're just what we're watching the um previous training okay if um for chances like uh, if you posted uh, schedule, for example, you stated a while ago that um, during the morning, uh, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m., you will be giving a schedule for another training, a uh, live training videos. So, what if we miss that schedule? Will there be any chances or possible schedule that we could attend the second training? Because um, yes, there. We're always conducting training. We're always conducting training. So, as of now, we we haven't yet got a um any update from donald that we need to start the training since there is still a lot of um, applicants and we're we're still um having our ongoing training so either me analisa or um maui will be posting if they do have a lot of live training okay. all right so you just um, need to wait for the announcement or look for the announcement in the skype group So any more question? So thank you again everyone and bye-bye. Thank you.